G'day all, welcome to a, uh, another episode of Shane Shed. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the diff oil fill levels on Discovery 3 and 4. Now, this is obviously, I've noticed it's always a discussion on internet forums, Facebook, whatever. There's one camp that says uh, measure them out in the diffs only, that's all it needs. And another, like myself, who's just say, we just fill it to the, uh, to the filler plug uh, hole. Uh, today, I'm actually going to throw in the measured amounts for each front rear diff. I'm going to be measuring how far below the oil level ends up. Uh, below the fill hole. For that, I'm just going to use good old Allen key. Uh, basically, imagine this nut is the uh, the fill hole. Uh, just going to stick it in and uh, check there, pull it out, measure where that oil level is with the ruler. Uh, we'll see how it turns out. And then I'm going to add some fluid, and I'm going to measure that uh, amount of fluid from the measured amount till it spills out. So we'll see what the difference is. Uh, this is not going to be a guide on uh, how to change diff oils. Uh, if you're interested in that, I do have a video, so I'll throw a card up here for you. Uh, go check that out. Uh, for reference, the front diff, uh, 0.61 or 610 milliliters. Uh, rear diff, 1.1. Uh, that's for the open diff. Uh, if it's a locking, a factory locking diff, uh, it's 1.5. But I'm not going to be able to test that one because mine's just the normal open diff. So let's put the measured amount in these diffs and uh, we'll get some results for you. Alright, so just done a dip on the front diff. So just going to have a, a measure of what that's turned out to be. I don't know if you'll be able to see that at all, but uh, we're looking about 10 mil below the, the fill plug is uh, where the front diff turns out to be, so let's top it up to fill to spill and see how much we extra we put in. So for the rear diff, uh, we are 8 mil below the filler plug. Uh, so let's top that up to fill to spill and see how much extra goes in. Okay guys, so for the rear diff, uh, we're talking about, uh, we got 100, 200, 250 mil more to fill the rear diff up from uh, eight mil below the level plug to spill level. So there's a difference on the rear diff. The front diff, uh, I've just measured that as well. Uh, that is 10 mil uh, below the level plug and the extra required to top it up is 150 mil. All right, so at the end of the day, uh, I don't think those levels uh, I don't think they're significant enough the difference between the measured amount and fill to spill to create an issue. Uh, obviously the front diffs are a lot harder on uh, the oil than the rear. Uh, so can you pick the difference which one's the front diff and which one's the rear diff? Same kilometers on the oil. To be honest, I don't think the extra, the extra oil in the front is actually a bad thing at all. Uh, I personally haven't had any negative effects from uh, doing an overfill. Now, obviously, the rear diff, the uh, that level difference is a little bit closer. Uh, not really significantly closer. I mean, the difference could be uh, maybe by measuring uh, accuracy too. Uh, bear that in mind. So, yeah. I, overall, I'm still going to stick to doing what I'm doing. Uh, I'll let you be the judge of uh, whatever you want to do. Uh, yeah, hopefully this video just sheds a bit of light on the the actual difference between the two. Uh, I've never had a, an issue at all with the extra level. If you have, let me know uh, in the comments below. I'd, I'd love to know your reasoning why you think uh, just doing the measured amount is uh, the be all and end all, uh, if that's your opinion. Uh, let me know if you've had any issues or whether you're just doing it because everyone else says so. Anyway, uh, I'm going to leave this video now. Uh, hopefully this should only be a relatively quick video anyway. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this content, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Uh, throw a comment below as well, I really appreciate that. Uh, it actually helps with the channel growth quite a bit by just those two. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, I'll bring plenty of more Land Rover content, plus pretty much anything else I'll get my hands on do, which seems to be kind of obscure, irrelevant crap, but hey, whatever. 
Uh, until next time, I'll see you later. Cheers, guys.